At that time Jesus came down with them and stood on a level place with a great crowd of his disciples and a great multitude of people from all Judea and Jerusalem and the sea coast of Tyre and Sidon and he lifted up his eyes on his disciples and said Blessed are you who are poor for yours is the kingdom of God Blessed are you who are hungry now for you shall be satisfied Blessed are you who weep now for you shall laugh Blessed are you when people hate you and when they exclude you and revile you and spurn your name as evil on account of the son of man Rejoice in that day and leap for joy for behold your reward is great in heaven for so their fathers did to the prophets but who to you who are rich for you have received your consolation o to you who are full now for you shall be hungry o to you who laugh now for you shall mourn and weep o to you when all people speak well of you for so their fathers did to the false prophets in the sermon on the plain of saint luke which is different from saint matthew's version of the sermon on the mount jesus presents four blessings and four woes prior to this section jesus chooses 12 apostles whom he now intends to tell what it means to be his disciples and how they are to live their lives jesus's eight statements offer a disciples manual for this world he wants us to embrace not simply a behavioral change but a real attitudinal change a change from deep within the heart towards all kinds of life situations other people self and god one has to pay a great price by following the beatitudes for example it is by giving up everything that one learns how to be happy even in poverty hunger mourning and persecution yet the cost of christian discipleship is nothing compared to the blessings jesus promises us